Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video you're going to learn how to play Rebel Rebel as recorded by David Bowie on guitar. Now this song is all based around two sections. We've got the main riff and then the B section. Now the main riff uses this really cool technique called arpeggio picking, where you plant down some chords and then you pick certain notes out of those chords. I'm gonna show you how to play it note for note, but before we dive in, real quick, if you're new here, I want to hook you up with a gift right away. I used to look down at the fretboard and be confused as to how to work my way around the neck until I understood this fretboard guide. And I put together this awesome PDF that's basically going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to map out the entire neck. And I want to give it to you completely for free. All you got to do is go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide and you can download your copy right there. And in fact, all of the chords that we're covering in this song, Rebel Rebel, you're going to see on this page. You're going to see those shapes and it's really going to connect in with this lesson as well. So go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide and download it right there. Hope you enjoy that. And with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Rebel Rebel as recorded by David Bowie on guitar. Now we're going to start off with the main riff and this is how the tune kicks off. We're going to be going between a D sus2 chord and an E shape. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Alright, so as I mentioned, we're going from a D sus2 to an E shape. And the trick is, is to hold down that D sus2, which is going to be played from the fourth string down. Here's all the notes. Open, two, three, and then open. It looks like a D chord, but you just let that first string ring open. Now what you want to do is pluck the fourth string, then skip to the first string then the second string. Then we're going to alter that D sus2 after that. So first we'll just pluck those notes. Then this third fret goes down to the second fret and you give a little strum. And that strum is ideally on strings two and three. So. Then we're going to move to an E chord, and that's all six strings, open, two, two, one, open, open. But here I'm more just emphasizing kind of the more treble strings. We're going to do two strums on that, but I'm going to rest in between. So a lot of this, we're going to be using this technique called strum hand muting, where you, you strum and then you mute right after just to stop the strings. And I do that by just coming into contact with the strings. So. Then we're going to play the low E, and do a pull off. Here, we're holding down that E shape, and you want to grab the second fret on the second string with your pinky. Pluck that note, and then do a pull off. That's two to open. Then play the third string and the fourth string. Now again, we're going to let those notes ring over. So all together. Now as a basic approach to get you going, you can play all down strums and down picks. So down, 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 with the strum hand. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that is the main riff to the song. Take your time with that. And then after this, 
part, later in the song, we go to the B section. That's just a little four bar progression. It sounds like this. Then we're back to the main riff. So what I played here was four chords. I started on an A chord. I'm doing that in a rock style by just using one finger here. Then I went to a D, just from the fourth string down. This time though, not the D sus2 like we used with the open first string. Now we're playing that note fretted there. So it's just a regular D, open two, three, two. Then one bar chord here, B minor, and this is from the fifth string down, two, four, four, three, two. Now if that's too hard, you could just play the first couple strings, first three strings as like a power chord. Then we finish on E. That should be familiar from our riff, okay? Now strumming wise here, you can go down, 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 up, just as a little pattern like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then you would put that with the chords. One, two, three and four and change. Two, three and four and change. Two, three and four and. Now in the last bar, I'm just gonna go. And I'm just gonna do a build. So that's just eighth notes doing all downs. One and two and three and four and or eight strums. Kind of gradually get louder. and back to the main riff. And there David Bowie's singing Rebel, Rebel. We're gonna play that three times. Then on the last time, we've got this little variation now, and it goes, Hot Tramp, I love you so. So we have a little extension now. So we have the main riff, same as before three times. Then after that we go to D, we just hit it as a whole note and let it ring for four counts. One, two, three, four. Then change to E, one, two. Then right after beat three, three and. We're gonna do this little bluesy bend on the third fret of the low E. And we just grab that note give it just a little pull slightly out of tune. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Then from there, you're straight back into the riff. So take your time with that riff. It takes some synchronization with your strum hand to be able to pick out those exact strings. So go slow, and I think using all downs to start is a great approach. So work out those two sections, and then you've got the whole song of course, in the chorus, we have that little variation to the riff, but other than that, that's all you need to know. And to help you put this together even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the whole fretboard. And two of those chords, you already know, are the D and the E shape. And you'll see those on this fretboard guide. So go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide to download it completely for free, or you can click that first link down below. So enjoy that as my gift to you, and as always, Always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, I hope you have an amazing day, and we'll see you in another video real soon.